we love the SAG Awards because it's actors voting for actors in a room where you get to run into people like Michael Imperioli. <laughs> How cool is that? Very cool, very yeah. cool. So um, obviously, you know, The Times said The Severance is one of the best shows, new shows of the year. Does that add any pressure going into the second season or are you guys just ready to fly? I think we feel some pressure going in the second season just because, really because the fans. The fans really got on board and the fans were really invested and we didn't want to let them down. So I think they, the pressure is more from them than anything. Because I will say, man, this is the longest I've had to wait for a cliffhanger. You know, there was a big one at the end of the first season, so I'm like dying to get it. Are we any closer to season two reaching our screens? Not really. No, we are a little closer. We oh, have right. been have shooting for go. several months, but we still have a ways to go. Yeah. Now, are you hitting her up for any scoop, too? Are you like trying to figure out hitting up her, her for any scoop? No, no, I want no spoilers until it's done. No, I can't. Yeah, can't yeah, no, he, I have to strict. suffer in silence. So when the new season does drop, do you guys watch it together? Do you invite people and do a watch party? No, I think that's like really corny. Like, let's watch me. Right, right, Come right. over. Yeah, no, I'm not into that. You know, I've always kind of tried to minimize, you know, me being an actor in my kid's life and all of that. I, I love my work. I'm proud of it. I love the projects I've been a part of. But I, yeah. Try to keep it in perspective. Speaking of all those amazing projects you've been a part of, there's a couple of movie anniversaries coming up, including the 30th anniversary of True Romance this year. How's that make you feel? Very old. <laughs> it makes me feel like, wow, that was like yesterday. And it, and it makes me feel grateful because Tony Scott, our director, passed away several years ago, and he was so pivotal to me as an actress. He listened to every idea I had. He always was like, that's a great idea, Bama. Bama's got an idea. Let's do this. And he really taught me to listen to my instincts. He was kind of like a great girl dad. 30 years ago, that's something special then, because I feel like the times were different then than they are now. You're exactly, exactly right. And it really gave me strength to work with uh, directors after that to say, no, 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 no. You know what? I do have a good idea. Yes. I love yeah. it. And real quick, because we're fans of the movies, movie Holes, it's turning 20. Remember you were in Holes? <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. Kissing Kate Barlow. I know. Yeah. I know. That was a blast, actually. And, and that director was great, too. Andy, what a sweetheart. And I'm terrible horse rider, so I always fall off horses, and I told them. I said, listen, I always fall off horses, and all the old cowboys are like, not with me. I'm going to teach you, little lady, how to ride this one. And, and then, da 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 boom, da 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 boom. They're like, okay, maybe you can't be taught. <laughs>